All right, ladies and gents, there it is. Welcome to the Big D Premier League for Hell Let Loose. This is hosted live with a delay on behalf of the Big D community. I'm, of course, Noppers, and I welcome you to the live, semi-live stream. Let's call it that. Uh, I am quite excited by this tonight. This is going to be a great little competition. Really looking forward to it. And uh, I know there's been a big G up in the community today. I've seen it. I've heard it. And uh, yeah, look, we're going to have a good time. Uh, I've got a casting panel with me. So this is a bit of a panel arrangement, a little bit unusual for casting. Uh, we're not going to have webcams at the moment. And um, uh, but the panel arrangement is a couple of lads from the different clans. Now, uh, I haven't got them all here tonight, of course, because, um, well, they're fighting a lot of them. There's, there's a whole bunch of them are actually competing in the first round. So for now, who I've got in the channel with me, Let's have a look. We've got Gobatron. Say hello, please, mate. Hello. Yep, Gobes. Gobes is uh, resuming Foy Boys tonight. Uh, Yag Panzer, aka Riley. Say hello, mate. How are you guys? And Riley is uh, freelancing, I believe. Is that correct, Riley? Yeah, representing Big D as a whole. So There you go. And, of course, our other co-caster who will be doing the Sunday night streams, and that's Poontang. 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 G'day, mate. Say hello. G'day, mate. How's I, it going? I always call you Poontang. I love it. It's good times. Uh, the other players, and, and Putin, of course, you're with NRD. Is that correct? Yes, I am. So you're with the uh, NRD AAS team. And um, the other players we've got that will be joining us at some stage, and they'll jump in and out of our uh, Discord that I'm transmitting this across. Keltith and Kapuzzled, both of those guys from the uh, CHMAL. or Com what, How do you pronounce that? Chimera? Chimera? Chimera, I think. Chimera, there you go. Chimera Legion, I think it is. And uh, the other lads that will be joining us, Whiskey Man, who's from Foy Boys, uh, Airborne Kiwi, Kiwi from 3 Para, and uh, Ethereal, who is a uh, Laughs and Games rep. They're not competing in this competition, but Ethereal is uh, one of the leads in Big D, and he'll be actually joining us. Uh, yeah, that's about it for the, the casting panel anyway. So welcome, lads, and I'm glad to have you here with me. Uh, should be good time, so I hope we've got all our brewskis ready to go. Uh, all right, so let's have a bit of a trip chat first of all about what's actually happening. So this is, as you saw before in the introduction screen, this is the first match, the first round. There are two rounds on a Saturday night and two rounds on a Sunday night, uh, or two battles, should I say. And uh, each of the teams gets to compete on one of the two nights. And uh, so for tonight, we've got two uh, battles. The first battle is OC. Well, that stands for other clans. Is, am, I, am I correct there, lads? Only clans. Right. Only clans. Only clans. My bad. All right. Only clans. That's uh, tonight's battle, and uh, versus the Foy Boys, and then tomorrow night it's I think no sorry Only clans versus the old AIF which is now called CHMA Legion, and then tomorrow uh, later tonight at eight o'clock it's the Foy Boys versus Three Para, then tomorrow night and that's come up on the screen now for everyone to see. Uh, You'll see AIF there. This is the old draw. AIF merged with HFKT uh, as a as a total clan, uh, but they now have two components, which is CHMA L and V. What's the V stand for? Good question. That is a great question. Nobody nobody knows that one. <laughs> no, but we'll find out for the next one. Find yeah. out for the next one. All right, there we go. We're going to work that out. They only just like literally merged in the last week or so, so uh, it's a bit uh, how, how you going there. <laughs> It's quite funny because I called Crimea 1983 Holden, so I'm not sure what the, the old V would stand for. There Maybe you go. Vintage. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, it's a play on the old uh, Holden Chimera, isn't it? That's that's correct. Uh, all right, so just bringing up now the second set of rounds. So the whole competition itself is actually seven rounds. You can see on the screen now uh, the, the dates and the times for each of those rounds and what maps they're playing and what battles. And I guess as we, we go through the competition, folks are gonna get quite excited about watching their own particular team. Um, we're almost running out of time here. It's almost match kickoff time. So um, I guess I'll open just to uh, Puteng. First of all, any comments, any thoughts about this, mate? You're competing, so I'm interested to hear what you have to say about it. Oh, mate, I'm really looking forward to this. It's exciting times for the Big D community, mate. It this, is this whole league is blown up. Um, we actually had a couple of practice games against the OC last night, and it was fantastic. This is going to be a scrap, man. Yeah, this is uh, going to be very good scrap there. Uh, Gobes, your thoughts? You're competing with the Foy Boys, as I said before. 
Uh, this is going to be amazing for the um, Australian, New Zealand, and the Oceania communities. It's grown uh, exponentially. The interest in the game is a, is has grown exponentially since we've released um, BPL, um, and I really look forward to the, the next uh, 16 weeks. Yeah, Rog, no worries, mate. And uh, Yag Panzer, of course, mate, uh, you're definitely keen for this. You've cast before with me on a, a panel like this. Yeah, it was really good, man. I made sure to get more whiskey, so... <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, um, so on the screen right now for the viewers at home, I've got the actual Hurtgen Forest, Hurtgen, I can't remember how you pronounce it, uh, the map and all the capture points and everything uh, for everyone's interest. Um, we've got to uh, forgive me if I make a few little faux pas here. This is my first time actually live streaming a game, and I taught myself about a week and a half ago how to do this, so I'm, I'm going to make mistakes, and you can laugh and write comments as you go, remembering it's a 30-minute delay on this stream, so I'll read your comments later. Um, it, the map's changed, so 25 seconds has got the count on the screen at the moment. I'll get that up in a sec. Uh, quickly, just, uh, Gobes, I'll open to you, mate. What is What do you think the key points about this map are? Uh, the, key, the key points is holding the choke points on those bridges. If you don't hold the choke points, you'll lose the map. That's probably the most important thing, I think, with, with this map. Herkin is holding the, the choke points in the bridge or the water. Right. Uh, Riley, comments from you? Yeah, much the same, and the game's going to play very differently depending on what the middle cap is. Uh, North Pass and Fig Siegfried are a lot more easy to fight over, and then whoever gets the scar, I think, is going to be hard to get out. Right, well, I've got uh, some excellent news here. I've got this little uh, map cover to protect team from stream snipers thing that comes up now. I only just worked out to do that yesterday, but I don't need it because we're 30 minutes delayed. We get the opportunity for all the punters at home to actually watch what's going on. So as folks can see, and I'm going to bring the game sound into it now. I'm probably going to have to turn that down, actually. I have been having a little bit of combat today. And uh, yes, OK, I might have had things turned up beefily to uh, get some good video out of it. Uh, so we're going to put that down. I've turned off the... Uh, voice chat for all of the different um uh commanders and such because we don't actually want to listen to their chat in battle at this stage we might bring it in later i can certainly do that at any stage i want uh but uh for now we're going to just do the panel actually talking so now i'm in the the game here and i'm running to admin cam and for those that haven't seen it before this is what it actually looks like sorry i just gotta turn this down it's uh it's incredibly loud the old combat when you're next to a tank so this is what the admin cam looks like here. You've got some options there. Um, you can highlight different people at different stages. I'm actually going to turn the highlight off. And for the for the folks to actually enjoy this a little bit better, I'm going to turn all the background rubbish off as well. So we get to spin up into the air now. We get to have a look. So I'm looking at the map now. The actual points, the points that are covered are Malsbach Approach, Carl Trail, North Pass, Jacobs Barn and Hertgen approach so those are the capture points that they've got for this map uh it's all on the north side so uh i i, I do know that north pass is one hell of a spot to fight over and we'll go and have a close look at it for a minute uh Putang, what do you remember about fighting at north pass mate mate it is a really rough fight for the german side um if germans lose that high ground off the top i mean it's really hard to get it back off the Americans. Um, USA tank, it's really rough to go up against as Germany. Um, noticed last night practicing, just the USA tanks have just so much more superior on their side of the map on North Pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, uh, oh, that center point of the map, the five and six rows, where you've got Carl Trail and Jacobs Barn, they're kind of looking at each other over over that ridge line. That ridge line there isn't it? a bit of a valley that drops away. So, Carl Trail has a steep drop down into the water, and then it goes up onto the hill and then drops away to Jacob's Barn. Is that that familiar to everybody? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I guess um, the first thing I'll say there is you really want to dominate. You know, maybe the Echo Six area there. Uh, I'm just going to get look more more toys i've got a pen <laughs> i've got a pen i can do pen stuff and uh i think putin you and i looked at this the other day and it was a long path of education trying to get the damn thing work wasn't it <laughs> it was a good time mate yeah i don't yeah. know what you're talking about you we, picked it up real easy <laughs> we, we we got there in the end uh all right so let's bring up the map drawing activity i've got here 
and I'm going to pop on the little pen. And the bit I'm talking about is this bit here. Oh, green, that's a horrible color, isn't it? Let's get rid of that and let's try it with, say, black, big black lines on the map. So this bit here, that, that area to dominate, because what it does is allow you to attack north up towards North Pass from a good staging point. And then you can immediately, if you do take it, canter across to Jacobs and work that area as well. Uh, so that'll be quite important for one team or the other to dominate. The trouble is if they're at Jacobs Barn trying to get across to Carl Trail, it's actually a lot harder to go left than it is to go right on the map. Now, uh, one last thing I'll point out before we start getting into the action area, the compass on this map is actually north facing. Uh, so that is that is actually quite important to understand um, when you're trying to navigate on the map because you know someone will yell, "Oh, enemy north!" And if the compass is actually aligned off to the side, then of course you won't uh, be looking in the right direction. All right, uh, I'm now down at Tattoo. Tattoo is the enemy commander of the Axis sides. There you go. The OC's got Tattoo. And I don't know who the commander of uh, Comera at the moment is, but we will switch over it to anger. Them. It's anger, is it? Anger, yeah. All right, so we will switch over there uh, probably halfway through the battle so we can look at that. I'm going to get forward here and have a look at what the action is going on in the actual uh, North Pass area. So, yeah, as expected, we're in North Pass now. Um, have a bit of a look around there, boys. For the viewers at home, the lads here are actually going to be on their own separate webcams or admin cams, and uh, they'll be watching the battle through a separate screen. They're not actually watching the live stream. They're watching the battle in, in uh, their own screen, and they'll point out stuff to me as we go along. So a bit of a fight going on here at North Pass. We're on the south side of it at the moment. Leroy Jenkins is isolated on the bank there, and he's got quite a few of the Comera guys coming through. Uh, you can see... That squad is Charlie's squad. Let's see, Charlie's Danger Klaus, NF, NVS Feast, Lorne Ginge, and Leroy Jenkins. They're trying to sweep along the riverbank there. Uh, it's actually quite good to sweep along there. Uh, there's a fair bit of cover, but you can see Fuzz, yeah, one of our casters, he'll be doing joining us later. Uh, he's he's holding in that building. Uh, Riley. That's something really interesting, Goffers. Yep, go. Oh, have that's... a look in, in C5. The. Uh, the U Chimera have managed to jump that broken bridge in the U.S. Truss, uh, troop truck. Right. And so uh, they pushed up from from um, E5 all the way on the other side of the bridge. I've never seen that before. C5? C5, I'll get there in a uh, sec. C5, you said, didn't you? We just lost a... Uh, yeah, broken bridge. Panzer Four just died uh, quite uh, horribly. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Although I will say that uh, the OC guys are gradually pushing back the Chimera guys. So C5, you want me to get over across to C5? Let's have a look here. Charlie Just on 5. that bridge in the middle of um, in the middle of the river, you can see they've jumped that they've jumped the bridge with the truck. Just so do E5, 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 E5 yeah. E6, yeah, E5, <laughs> E6. So they've jumped across that. They've they've gone across that at a million miles an hour, and you can just do it if you do it the right time. You can get across there, and then you can accelerate up the uh, up the road. And that's oh my goodness, gone. you're talking about this bridge? Yeah, right. So they jumped that. Oh, well, that's, I wish I had seen that. There yeah. you go, transport truck, too. That's so incredible. So they can jump, not the actual wooden bridge, though. They go along the wooden bridge, and they just take a slight right, or sorry, slight left of the uh, crocodile's teeth or the anti-tank things and go straight up that. You can only do that as an American uh, truck. Oh, you can't okay. do that as German. Yeah. Wow, that is a really interesting... So, okay, well, they've got, they've got an OP in here. Somewhere in that trench. I'm not going to drill down and have a look at it. And they've dominated this hill point. So let's have a look. So this is kind of that area I was talking about earlier. We're in Fox 4 right now, and we can see that uh, Chimera have dominated this hill. It gives them two things. It gives them impressive overwatch to the back of North Pass, um, which is like, you know, for, for long-range shooters, I'm not very good at that. Um, they can dominate that with long-range fire, but also they can sweep down and clear out Garys and stuff. Um, thanks for pointing that out. That is a really good spot. Uh, I wonder if OC are reacting to it, though. You can see... Well, I noticed they did. I noticed a heap of the Chimera guys moving up that other side of the bank onto the hill in F4, and simultaneously all the OC guys met them there. So it was quite interesting to watch. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. The OC guys would have been looking to try and dominate this area that I'm pointing at now, which is the Fox 5 square. And looking at the map, yeah, the commander's there, and he's got a whole squad plus a recon forward of him. 
Uh, you'd expect that, yeah. though. It looks like that um, OC have uh, a staggered column pushing up towards that choke point up the top of the hill, the Overwatch. Um, and the um, Kimura guys have got a full squad or maybe two squads trying to hold that hill. So, But they're not pushing the point. They're getting the Overwatch, but they're not really pushing the point. That's where um, OC is holding the point. Mm. But, uh, they're starting to lose it now, though, which is interesting. Yeah. Oops. It's just by um, numbers. <laughs> that, yeah, that... Kimura have shoved their Sherman in. Yeah, I think that's because the tank is on the point. That awkward moment where a uh, when you're hovering in the air looking at stuff and a giant tube of supplies, the big dildo comes down in front of your face. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Oh, there's two uh, there's two AT. Uh, oh, that tank's gone oh, now. Tank yeah, is gone. just saw that. That was excellent. Good call. Um, oh, there's just fierce. Yep, the, he's one of their uh, the, well-known players. Over the uh, the top of the point, the radar the radar um, position. Uh, Red cordial and lotion are sitting in the tank. The tiger tank overlooking Overwatch. Uh, give us range shot. Give us a grid. You're talking about oh way back here on the radar oh, dish. Yep. H4. Uh, H H4. Excellent. Just look at little head hanging above. Yep. Let's have a bit of a look. I'm going to see if I can follow these guys right now. There you go. Look at that. I've got the um. Uh, I've got to remember the commands. Then I unlock rotation. Unlock from target. There we go. We can pop that up and have a bit of a look. Turn off admin camera. All right. So I'm looking at the more or less the point of view of the tank right now, and uh he can he can see the hill where uh Chimera were working that fox four hill he can see that very easily and and provide fire support across to that he can look at the whole objective from here although there are a few trees in their way and well flanking any flanking activities that happen up to the north along map edge he would be able to spot those early so this is a three-person tank. You can see Lotion, uh, Bar, 789. I'm going to hate names in this. <laughs> I really am. Bar, 789, and Red Cordial are all, uh, are, are all in a good spot here to Overwatch. What a good, what a good play. And uh, some of uh, those OC's most experienced tankers, and that is a really good defensive-offensive spot for the Tiger because you can pretty much nail anything that comes down on those roads in D3, D4, D5. You've got eyes on from that position. Yep, I'm but seeing a here an AT guns here too. Where's I yeah. found one? Yeah, the AT, the AT gun is at uh, G3, uh, G3, G uh, F3. Yeah, just sitting on top of the hill there. I've got that the guy. Yep, and he's covering the other side, so he's blocking, um, looking south of the point on the other side of the river. So they got crossfire with that tank and that AT gun. Yeah, I've just uh, we'll just oh, just be better at the mouse here. Uh, just jumping in behind fat guy. Uh, unlocking the camera for me. No, it's not, not working very well. Didn't like that at all. Sorry about that. Viewers at home just saw the underside of the earth. Uh, okay, it's not It's not actually letting me do this properly. Um, it's stuck underground. Would you I believe? Think Jay is, I think Jay is to clip back through. <laughs> uh, the, the uh, oh, Jed toggle clip. There we go. Clip is on. Thank you. I don't actually ever use that. Problem. Here we go. Pop back in behind him. No, nope, it's it wants to look through the ground. All right, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, people, have, people have just thrown their lunch up trying to work out what the hell I was doing. That's great. Just just having a look at that. Uh, it looks like Kumira's uh, put down plan to build an AT gun to fire back at the Tiger tank. Uh, that is at E3 D3, and um, they haven't built it yet, but they're trying to get there to build it. So uh, uh, you have seen. I can see him up and keep an eye out for that. Oh, they and also they have go... a 76 moving up into, there's a there's a crossroad in the middle of D4. Now that's a really good position for a tank. You can see all the way over to that radar where the Tiger's hiding. Yeah, you right. Shoot down onto the point. Good spot. So let's see what happens. Yeah, with these two heavy tanks that should be into view with one another shortly. All right, well, I'm just watching these guys set up the AT gun. They've done that. Uh, the lads that are here are Panic, Clock Pit, and uh, Jam. Now, Jam is a well-known... Somewhat notorious. Oh, hang on, it's all on here. They've they've been found, and they're getting shredded. Oh, and the ta oh the wow. Oh, the AT gun just got blown up. It was all bad. There's body parts everywhere. Uh, just fiercest squad came up to take it out, but he's getting flanked now. We're just oh, oh no. He was, dying, he was... <laughs> that tank protecting his side. He was he was dead as a door now, but that tank gave him all the protection. That was the anti tank gun. Uh, it took oh, out oh. old mate in the middle as he was running up to flank those two guys who had just shredded the AT gun. All right, so these 
these guys over here now they've sort of lost this flank a little bit and they're getting pushed what have we got one two three four five six coming up on the hill uh all right but there's a bit of a pushback bot john i know him and woody actually i've played with both of those guys before in 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 games and uh bot john's a very 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 good player uh you will find that he will not die very much at all uh let's see what happens but he dies now just to prove me wrong you know what i mean if you, if you have a look at why OC's playing in their back line on top of that hill in the Overwatch, they've actually pushed out Kamira pretty hard. So there's only uh, one one player left, the uh, squad lead, hiding in the trench line. Um, and they've pushed them all the way back, so Kamira has to restart again. Is this up where restart Mav is? Is it where Mav yeah, is amongst all the wood? This is up, yeah, this is up the uh, F4, F5. Yeah, come in, um, OC has come back with uh, six people up here at the moment to clear that out. And he's got yeah, the commander. Sorry. Yeah, go on, Riley. Sorry, mate. I was just a quick update there. It was a pretty good 900 meter tank battle there. The um, Chimera guys spotted the tiger and got two into him uh, before the tiger could return one shot. And then they tracked him, but then they ultimately got the kill. It was quite a good battle. So I'll put that one at, for your highlights reel. Have a look at D3. Um, Cheeky Danger Klaus is coming up to attack that um, garrison up at uh, D3. He's very sneaky, getting very quiet to get it. They're hunting for him now. But he's also he's got, got the spotter that coming in to help him as well. Yeah, he's got backup with repurpose. So that should be interesting. Oh, the commander's on it. Oh, he's got the Gary. Will he get the cap? Panic's we coming back. Coming up. We got it. Oh, Major got it. Repurpose is re, re, repositioning herself, and danger's dead. <laughs> Did you see that for a death? That was a great death. All right, repurpose uh, is holding now. He's gonna. No, he's running away. So okay. There we go. The old. Uh, what's he? What weapons are using there? Uh, she's she repurposes a uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful lady, and she's using an MP40. No, mate. There's no women on the internet. We've worked that out years ago. What are you talking oh, about? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> My bad. All right, she's looking at aircraft. What was that about? <laughs> Uh, she's watching. Okay, so there's uh, the giant supplies are coming in again. We're just following repurpose now, actually, as she runs around the back. She's going to come across a squad leader running up the hill in front of her. I uh, can't tell who that is from this distance. It's Ness. Uh, right, there you go. So repurpose is running around. What's she doing back here anyway? What's this about? Just clearing out Gary's. Uh, yeah, just clearing out Gary's. And I reckon she's just spotting for um, yes. the defenders. She Looking abs for that tank. There must be a tank or AT gun up the back. Right, here we go. There is a Jumbo 76 coming down behind Repurpose. Oh, look at this. Both of them just ran past each other. Oh, she, she saw him first. Well done. Okay, but now she's got two more coming down the hill. And I can hear that tank now coming in. I'm actually following her. All right, she's going to get shot as she marks that. Uh, Orn Ornito... I don't know who that is on Camera. He's can't see his full name. Or Night, or Night Owl. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so that tank's now driving across the bridge. Major situational awareness, where you've got Steve right next to repurpose, but they don't know each other. They're both firing, but they both don't know where each other is. That's right. It's just a. Uh, you gotta have a bobblehead in this and a bit of a swivel head. All right. So repurpose is going to probably get shot in the back all right let's go look at that bombing run what just happened the bombing run just went from the side of the bridge on the uh americano side or the american side pushing from north pass all the way up all the way down those houses but didn't do too much damage didn't really pick anyone off really all right could have been to take out ops and garrisons could be quite a good possibility all right all right let's have a bit of a look at the map now talk about what's going on so we've got one two three four five six seven garrisons within nine grid squares that's that's pretty solid isn't it uh chimera are going to have a hard time cracking that open the gar the commander of oc is forward oh he just got shot by the look of that um the commander of oc just got shot putting up that forward garrison he'll probably lose that one um but we're just going to go to a bit of a map draw now quickly and have a look at some things here so on this map what we're looking at is you can see all of the garrisons there. They just lost that one there. That's fine. 
So Kamara are coming in that way again, as you would expect, and they'll be coming in that way again, as you'd expect. So coming in from Carl Trail and coming in from Direct West. Uh, Putang, tell me, if you were in this battle right now and you were the commander of Chimera, what would you need to be doing? Um, looking at Chimera's map, I'd need to get my recon. See, I play recon. I ran all the way up to Hill 15 where the Tiger Tank normally sits, and I flanked all the way up onto the top of that ridge, all the way up in G3. They need to get a OP up there and a garrison and see if they can start moving around at so, the moment they're at, a, they're at a bit of a stalemate with their front line and this flank that's just not working out all right i'm going to test your knowledge here lads uh so the uh the road at golf three that feeds into north past what does the military call that oh crickets come on msr 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 mate yeah, sorry, my bad. It's, it's, been 15, it's been 15 years since I've been in yes. uniform. So. Gabe's has served. I was I was poking that then. That was good. Well yeah, done. Sorry about that. So it's a, main, it's a main supply route. All right. Now, I'm going to mark on the map for everybody at home, but for you lads, I'll talk you through what I'm, I'm talking about. Everything that is Gulf 3 and 4, this is... Oh, God, that's a horrible color. Pick a color that works and you'll be right. Everything that is this area here, that one's no better, is it? <laughs> go, we're going back to black. Everything is, go, go black. That's all I'll say. Leave that alone. Everyone's drinking. You can laugh at that. Um, so those, I've drawn three lines along the 3-4 row coming in uh, from right to left and the golf column. That is the main supply route, the main feeder line for OC. When they need to surge towards North Pass, they are going to use these two Garys here in particular. Uh, if they lose these front ones, like in Echo 3 and Fox 4, they're going to use the Garys at Golf 3 and 4. Uh, and looking at this now, there's a red light up on Golf 5, so I'm going to assume there that Chimera are down there. We're going to go have a look just north of Jacob's Farm in a second. Yep, look at that. They're trying to take the Gary. So if you're Chimera... You need to try and get something out into this Golf 3-4 area to try and push back the, the or close off that main supply route, should I say. And if you close the main supply route, you close off their ability to refeed. Once you've shut down that main supply route, you do your, your assault and your bombing runs and everything like that. And, and uh, OC are on the back foot because once you take their forward garrisons, they've got nothing at the back or they're spending so much energy trying to work the back stuff that they can't deal with the front stuff. And that's how you do it. You distract them. Uh, for anyone... A skirmish going on at the top of E3 between Just Fierce's squad and Crimea. All right, go and have a look now. Tell, talk me through it, mate. Well, by the looks of it, Just Fierce is actually pushing their push back. They've counted them. Um, We're watching before, now. We had a uh, dead man. He took out three of them in a row. Yeah, at and... e E3, yeah, they're, they're doing pretty well. Like, what they're doing is they're, they're pushing them back, killing them, and they're falling back, and then let when, when Kamira pushes over the ridge, the machine gunners are opening it up and hitting them. Yes. So they're using the dead ground to um, to draw the enemy in. Oh, that was a grenade to Joshua Tree's that face. Grenade. That was a good grenade. We're about to have a uh, 76 heavy tank versus a tiger battle. We've got the OC Tigers advanced through the town, and he's supporting that battle that Putang just called out. Okay. But up what? on the road in E3, we've got that 76 jumbo, and he's slowly going to crest the hill. All right. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be, does that uh, tiger know the 76 is up there? E3 scene. I think I can hear a tank. There we go. Right there. I'm now behind yeah. that tank. I'm looking to see what happens. The trouble with tanks up here, it's... I don't know what the gun depression is on either of the tanks, but it's not a huge amount. Just quickly, lads, as an aside, uh, we've been going now for 30 minutes, so the live stream has now hit the internet, and uh, hopefully people are enjoying it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good luck to them, I suppose. But yeah, we've been having half an hour now. How good's that? Anyway, look, talk me through this tank, Riley. Well, it looks like the Tiger's ready. He's got the gun up on that crest. He's waiting for the 76 to come up. Um, and he looks like he's got the elevation in the gun to do that. Now, I'm just zoomed over to listen to the 76, and they're really slowly cresting. They've got their gun in 
full depression trying to see that tiger but i don't think they'll be able to get a shot on that tiger without exposing their hull to be honest i think this one should go to the to the german tiger let's put it this way i'm on the top of the sherman now and for me to be able to see the tiger i have to go probably a whole tank and a half higher stacked up Mm. Uh, that's that's not going to happen and if you have a look, you've got dead men flanking around the back with AT on that tank. So they look like they've dropped an airhead or a garrison in the back of the C3 line. I can't find it there, but... Oh, actually, I can hear it. I can, I can, I can see a garrison marker on the map here next to oh, yeah, I found it. Uh, there's, a, there's a German garrison at C3D3. And um, yeah, they're flanking around, uh, taking an AT to that tank. C3, D3, German garrison. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Sully's put in a uh, satchel charge on the back of that tank. He just put it on the rear of that tank. Yep. Yeah, okay. I think they know, too. He's backed it up. The, the Tiger was ready for him. He's right in the right position. But that uh, 76 is going to have a bad day now. Yeah. Who's in that tank? Uh, L-Sync, the U, and Gang Gangbang? Okay, cool. Um, look, everything's legal on the internet, isn't it? So he's driving down to try get back into his troops. Yep. Oh, and this is going to go badly. Jerry can, yeah. Puzzled. Is there he oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, he felt that. <laughs> we have got some Crimea at the back line at OC. Have we? Oh, Whereabouts? So we ah, seat. Thank you. That's good. See, this is what we've yeah, been three, talking about. Three, yeah. This is what they were trying to do at the start, I think, and they just couldn't get down here because there was a, a good response from the OC guys. Uh, to close off that little bridge jump with the truck. I mean, I didn't even know you could do that, so I probably would have got caught out too. Uh, yeah. But we got what Mav and Blackjack. What's what's the plan from here, uh, Putin? What do you reckon? They need to get up onto that high ground where the AT gunners. This being down here is just it's no good for them. They've got the OC up on the hill behind them. I mean, they need to get out of there. It's just not, to... it's not a good time. They need to get to the burnt forests up on the top of yeah. that hill where the, the dead ground is made from craters and hide the garrison or OP in there so they can push down the hill and use that broken bunker as a bit of a cover and a flex point. But um, they're just not pushing that way. I see the OC guys are really controlling the dead ground and open ground uh, very well. They're working in twos and threes, which seems to be really complex in uh, Kamira working in uh, full squads. It looks like Kamira's like just flopped onto Mav's squad. Looks like they got a bunch of players just spawned in. Looking at uh, okay, I'm Mav's squad. Yeah, I see that. Um, we oh, actually Roy's just taken out too. And this... if you have a look, Lord Ginge is coming from the back, really sneaking in from the OC guys. He's sneaking in the back on Mav's squad. Yeah, so same. he's going to try to hunt that OP. I yeah. reckon he's going to sneak in and try to get that OP first. The well, frontal the... attack is coming in now from the old Crimea. All right, let's have a look at the frontal attack. All right, so they've actually pushed. Hey, that's pretty impressive. We we left this where their tank had blown up. And, uh, you know, there was a whole bunch of OC guys up near where their commander is right now, which is, where's that? I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is, Delta 4. And now all of a sudden, they're actually in the town. They've pushed back. See, this is the offset, isn't it? Uh, OC did the flanking manoeuvre, which left less people to defend the town. Chimera put some bodies into there. Um, I'll bet you any money Bot John's in here. Where is he? Uh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> And Jam, yeah, they love being in the middle of town, shooting and stuff. So they've pushed them back now. Oh, that tank's still there, though. Yeah, the Tiger's dominating the town a little bit. And he's got... Oh, Lord Chinch. If you have a Lord Chinch, just took out their OP and they've got and uh, took out Mav. So they've got no OP at the back line now. Yep, seen. And Blackjack's now by himself. He's going in. He's going to go for the kill. Oh, I wish we could get in there. Oh! Oh, I was, that was watching Lord Ginge earlier, and he took out a lot of guys near the Dragon's Teeth down on the riverbank. So let's. He's uh, been quite impressive. Let's take oh, a look. He's... Let's take a look at that right now. Actually, Riley, um, you know a lot of people. There's some really good combat going on in the city here. I'm just going to sit over that and watch it. You know quite a few people uh, in all the teams here. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the OC team here. So I'm looking at uh, some of the names I know is Red Cordial. Uh, the fat guy, Danger Klaus, Lords of Bombing Run coming in. We've got to watch that, don't we? Yeah, and an airhead. It's covering an airhead coming down. Oh, yeah, look at that. A4 numpad 8. Here's the airhead for those that haven't seen him before. Or don't bother looking up when airplanes go over. This is what you're looking for, folks. It's not necessarily a red parachute, but it's definitely that square-looking thing. 
So, always a red parachute. Always a red parachute for an E-hit. Yeah, but isn't one of the supply drops also a parachute? Red parachute? Yeah, the German one. Supplies red. Yeah. Oh, Klausi was on that airhead, but uh, there was too many of them to beat off, and he only... So it looks like that airhead's going to be safe. <laughs> it's always a problem when you've got too many guys to beat off, isn't it? You know? <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, anything. No judgment, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Um, Nick Jam's going for that airhead. He's sneaking up to get that airhead. Oh, oh yeah, Naka. Naka G. Mav's behind him. Oh, no, he knows Mav's there. He knows Mav's there. No, he doesn't know Mav's no, there. No, he doesn't know. And Mav doesn't know he's there. Oh, did, hang on, whose airhead is this? That's the, um... Uh, this, is this is the Chimera's, Chimera's, Chimera's airhead. airhead. Yeah, the American airhead. He's running, he's, he's gonna run past it. Past it. He's, he's run past it. Oh, he's right on him! Oh, he's right on it! Oh! He got the oh, OP though. Oh, look at this, it's a slaughter! Oh, he... He survived! He ran away! Oh, really... Dead man's here to back oh. him up. Oh, oh no! He no! And Matt's oh, back here did. going... Oh, he's running... Both running around. Dead man's looking for it as well. They there can't find the airhead, guys. Oh, dead man's yeah, got uh, it. No, no, he hasn't. It. No. Interesting. Because oh, no. it doesn't it's... make a sound. That's the thing with the airheads, is they don't have a radio sound. Hang on, is it still It is still here? It just it's looks like a buff. Off. It's locked out, but they haven't taken it yet. So if dead man dies here, that's airhead's going to open up. He's, he's, he's just... He's bandaging at the moment. How did they not see that? It, it looks like just a piece of terrain. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, just... it's hidden in that beautiful red bush. Well, it's actually yeah, just it's, uh, slightly out the back. If you look at it from the other side, it's just sticking out, but he hasn't seen it. Oh, my goodness me. How's that? Oh, and there's the there's the uh, OC garrison, of course, just nearby. So they'll come through. Klausi must know it's actually there. Yeah. He yeah. is the excellent strategic play, old There you go. Found oh, it. No. Ran no, straight no. past it. He's run past it. He's run past it. That's, wow. This could be dangerous. All right. I'm going to watch this for a sec because Dead Man's if looked at it a couple of times. If they don't get it, this could be... Oh, dangerous. he's gone. Dead Man's down. Oh, Klaus, he's down. Who's that? That's the commander. Oh, Nakajim. Nakajim's Naka found it. it. He's there got you it. go. <laughs> well, well done, uh, Kamara. That was an excellent airhead. It was just unlucky that they uh, didn't pick him up. Yeah, and Kamara yeah, just had a great battle um, at the top of the hill again, but uh, they just flopped with... Um, Gremlin and uh, Toasty coming in from behind. They were too focused on the frontal, uh, the frontal troops, and went watching the rear and got slaughtered. All right, I've just been, guys. I've just been given a tip by someone in chat. So 30 minutes ago, unfortunately, uh, to boost audio output. So I've, th that's the warning there. Now the audio is just bumped up. Um, I, I, you know, we're testing this. So uh, thank you for that feedback. I can't. I wish I could do it live so that you could give me that feedback in real time. Um, all right, happy with that. All right, so we, let's go back to having a quick look at where we're at. Okay, so OC are absolutely dominating this point at the moment. Uh, Chimera is trying to push through from a few points. OC have shut them down on the hill over there at box four. Uh, and Chimera is still holding the hill pretty well at, uh, what's that, Echo 3. That's about the balance of battle. So what I was going to do is we were talking about some of the people on the... Um, the OC team for the moment, and then I'm going to switch across to Chimera and actually play on their team. So, what do we got there? Just Fierce, Joshua Tree, the Dead Man, uh, Danger Klaus, we've already talked about there, Red Cordial, that fat guy. These are all names I know fairly well. Toby the Toaster, uh, Stanner. All right, so Riley, talk to me through some of those people in OC that you might know and how, how they actually play, please. Um, well, Tattoo, the commander, is one of those guys that's got an eye for detail for all of the little idiosyncrasies of the game. So if there's any little any little fact that'll change the outcome, like, you know, an airhead will take longer to land because the terrain's higher in, air, you know, XYZ area, he'll exploit that. Um, he's a very, very clever player. Um, really, really good to watch as a commander. That's sort of the first one. Um, that target tank has been engaged. Sorry, Ollie, to... Yeah, no, you're right. The, the uh, Sherman 76 is up in the really good spot in D4 Numpad 2 at that, that crossroads. Yeah, this this target tank's been hurt. It's damaged. They're trying to repair it at the moment. That's, I don't think they know where that 76 is. I don't actually know where the 76 is. Where is it again? Uh, the it's 76 up at... near the radio tower. Yeah, D4, yeah. D4 keypad 3. Slowly moving into uh, D4, sorry, E4 now. D4, keep down the hill. Down the hill a bit, right, got it. There we go, bound. 
I was like, yeah, too fast, too furious. He's doing a bit, a bit too fast, too furious. Eh? Yeah, Tokyo Drift there. Yeah. We're gonna follow that. We're gonna follow that tank, lads. That's what we're doing right now. So, uh, Riley, keep talking to us about um, some of the OC players while we watch this tank do its thing. Cool. Oh, yeah. A lot of them have been around for quite some time. A lot of them are uh, kind of new players um, on the scene, but they still like um, that fat guy is one of the. He's right. probably only been with the big D. Sorry, Gophers. You're just on Big Fat Guy's jumped into the AT gun and he knows where that tank is, so he's turning the AT gun towards that tank now. On top of the hill. Yeah, Man, okay. This guy's good. That fat yeah, guy like, is so good. He's a very good player, but he's only. I think he's only been in Big D for a, a handful of months, maybe six months. He's made a good impression. Um, yeah, he's a, abs he's a sensational player. All right, so I'm on this tank right now. Um, Riley, just uh, please, yeah, by all means, keep talking about some of the OC guys. Keep waffling. You know why I keep telling you to keep talking is because I'm eating on the side. I just didn't want you to know that. Oh, nice. Well, what are you eating? <laughs> What's it so, that? Tonight it's beans. I've got <laughs> actually, I've got a, I've got a smorgasbord of things here on the side. Um, oh, this fight. Tell you what, tell you what yeah. I can do. Oh, which fight? Give me a, give me a thing. This is oh, the tank. Oh, fight? Oh. tank. Tank watching it, yeah, oh, that was a good hit. And uh, never the tiger's in trouble. Oh, yeah, Cordial's I... repairing. Yep. Oh, oh and he's got that. AT. Ouch. But that that Chimera yeah. tank, he's got an AT flanking his position. He's yeah, just watching. Got a rocket beast. Here we go. But he's going to shoot him in the side. What? I guess he has to, doesn't he? Oh no, he's going to try yeah. for the up the hill. Nah, it's not worth it. Panzer Shrek can oh, pin the heavies in the side. Ooh. Yeah, but, but it looks like that did tank track damage. It's always better to shoot him in the back. Because that's where the fuel is, isn't it? Oh, oh, it, it, it matters engine not. Shot. <laughs> yeah, he got him right in front of that rear drive sprocket, which would have done engine and hull damage. So, so that's, he knows what he's doing as an AT player there. All right, so I'm looking at that side of the tank now, and I want you to... Oh, I'm looking under the ground. I want you to talk me through where he shot it on the side and why, because a lot of people struggle with that stuff. Yeah, so you've got the, the final sprocket and the very uh, the very end of the tank. So if you shoot just forward of that through the tracks and hit hit the hull, you'll actually do hull and en or engine and hull damage. Sprockets being um, the the wheel thing, yeah. Yeah, the the last wheel thing up the top back corner. So. What about from the um, rear? Just anywhere? Oh, uh, in the rear, um, most people make the mistake of hitting the jerry cans. You want to hit the big grill at the bottom. Yeah. And that'll do that'll do engine and hull damage. And obviously, taking on a, a jumbo, you want to knock out the engine as quick as you can because they turn so fast yeah, in and, first gear. And that is actually really useful information to understand how to shoot tanks. What about the Tiger tank? Let's go down and have a look at the carcass of that. Obviously, shoot it in the front if you're a Sherman and you'll be fine. Um, where are we shooting a Tiger? I know with these, the engine is actually directly in the back there between the two exhaust stacks, uh, and that's yep. a good place to shoot it. But in this game, is, is that still a... Uh, the right thing yeah so but the american handheld at can't pen the german heavy tanks from the side so you have to go from the back um the disadvantage the tiger has against the jumbo from the front is it doesn't have that sloped armor now we saw that in that battle that that jumbo came around the corner with a bit of hull angle and the the 88 just bounced off the front so we got a massive push coming from chromero at the front point yeah, I'm watching that right now, actually. Straight in the road, yeah. They are all over it, aren't they? And there's, okay, so there's a couple of the blues up there. What I'll actually do now uh, is switch teams, won't I? So we need to do that. We've got, we've got eight minutes left. It's right. getting down to the teeth I now, have, the Chimera. I, I have here to comes apologize. the Chimera bombing run. You have to head, Gobes. You've got a battle coming up, man. Yeah, I've, I've got to go. Thank you very much for having me, and I uh, look forward to the next one. All right, mate. Good luck with your Cheers, battle. Go. Good luck, mate. Right, so I'm just doing a redeploy. I've pulled up the map uh, and, and what we talked about before, that key area in the middle of the map there. And uh, it's contested. Chimera capping. They had a good bombing run then. Took out a half track. So I want to jump on the allies now, don't I? There we go. I'm jumping on the allies and I'll make myself a locked armor squad. I'm obviously not going to be armor. And I uh, don't want to deploy there, do I? Deploy down there. All right, so we're getting back onto the... Uh, the game and here I am back into admin cam turn off the things and off we go we're on the Chimera side now so I can actually look at them from uh, Chimera's perspective for this last what is it seven minutes 
Uh, seven minutes now, yes. Ooh. We go to 45. Shit's getting real. Dot. Shit's getting real. Yes. So they got to start pushing. This is a good chance for us to have a look now at... Oh, well, there, there you go. I was going to look at all the garrisons that Colmera might have. And one just fell at Delta 4 keypad 9. So that got taken out by whoever's there from OC, of course. Um, where are we? We just got to look in that area now. Oh, so that's back here. Wait, wait a minute. How do you manage to take it out back here? Must have died. Recon squad. Must have been, yeah. Okay, this guy down the down the hill here. Who's this? Repurpose. There you go. Hey, uh, Puteng, how, how well do you know uh, the AIF or the Chimera guys? I'm not 100% familiar with them. I know um, C Fuzzle, just from talking to him through Media Team and whatnot. Yep. He, he's a great player. Yeah, um, I've played it, played a few games with these guys. Yep. Um, what about you, uh, uh, Jagdpanzer? Oh, sorry, go on, Puteng. No, no, go for it, Riley. Yeah, I'm much the same. I've played with a handful of the um, the ex AIF guys, the Chimera guys, over the years. Certainly, a lot of familiar names, and um, uh, I know Woody and Jam and yeah, I'm sorry, there's yeah, Blackjack. There's sorry, a, mate. a whole bunch of shit going on around this Tiger tank here. He, it's right, literally right next to the building where the AIF guys or the HK. <laughs> wow, how good is that? The Chimera guys have actually gone. Uh, there's shit going on here everywhere. Um, I know the HF, the uh, HFKT guys really well, to a point. I mean, I haven't gamed with a lot of them in a fair while now, and I was away for most of last year on deployment. Um, the Chimera guys that are from AIF, uh, so the Chimera L, I've played quite a bit. These with tanks them. have engaged. Yes, I yeah. see that, and yeah, again. I'm 76 to track him. Oh, so that time yeah. has to get out. No, he's taken one hull hit. He's got that. Take... They've both got one. He's got one the AT light. gun. Yeah. He's got the AT he's gun. He's got the AT gun. There we go. There you go. Yeah. This but... is a massive push from Chromier again. Yeah. So um... the jumbo hit the tiger's tracks twice. Then we're just so up the rounds. So, so the uh, while this, yeah, it looks like this push has been stopped. Here's a bombing run. That was a massive. How's that coming in? Oh, look at that. Whose bombing run is this? That is... That's Tattoos. Uh, that's tattoos, OCs. yeah, yeah, yeah. So just trying to cut off that uh, bombing run. Who was that that was running? There you go, these guys were shitting themselves. Fuzz and his team there. Um, so I played quite a few matches with the Chimera guys uh, from AIF. And uh, there's a, a good bunch of blokes. Um, they tend to be very aggressive in their playstyle. Very aggressive in their playstyle. That's what I know about them. Uh, which, that's positives and negatives, of course. Uh, Kelteth... Of uh, is their one of their main leaders and uh, he'll be joining us on the panel so we'll hear some things about his clan uh, in that regard uh, Puteng obviously we'll talk about NID and, and boy boys uh, when uh, we get some of those guys on later is this push from a uh, Chimera gonna succeed well the OC is yeah the OC has just dropped a backup Gary called an airhead <laughs> <laughs> Using it defensively, Where's that which come? is not a bad idea. Where's They've that coming from? Up uh, in F3 numpad 8. Yes. Well, so pretty much just about where I am. Alright, so there's a garrison there. Uh, F3 numpad 8, that's where I am. He's actually timed it so the airhead will survive until the game ends. Yeah, right. Again, that's another one of those things that tattoo knows the timings and the placements of everything so that would have been really deliberate by him yep you can see good uh, copycat there is saying three minutes left um the battle stops at uh the 45 so because the timer for matches is one and a half hours so they're only playing 45 minute battles uh look at it they start capping this will go into overtime this is a massive push it's yeah, not but... much infantry around here there, you're right, you know, there's, there's what, one, two, I'm counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven OC guys within the circle mm. sort of area, and about 10 or 12 blues. Which they do have a tiger tank, though, so... Yeah. There's also a an AT gun, ah, oh, look up on the hill, there's another AT gun now from Sparrowfart and Gremlin. It's got Overwatch down into uh, the riverbank. That's at Fox 4, I'm looking at that right now, keep at 5. So yeah, this is this is dominated. I'm I'm gonna call it here. I don't think I'm, that... I'm pretty convinced the OC is gonna win here. Yeah, I don't think America can come back from that. Uh, Not to mention Tattoo's hiding 
under a bridge with supplies. So if a garrison goes down, they're going to get one up instantly. They are. Yeah. Look, that tiger's actually now going. Fuck it, I'm in. Go. Fuck it, it's go time. Oh. There he goes. He just took a. And that's it. Loish and Red Cordial, in particular, I've tanked with those guys a little bit. They are slightly deranged in a good way. They <laughs> do not mind just throwing it in. I mean, last minute of the game, what else can you do? It's right there. Look at that. It's uh, the, the, oh yeah, a uh, an 88 to the face will slow you down. Uh, Dank Buds is sort of watching the tank go past. There's nothing he can do about that. Dead men's Doctor Evil about to get on that. Yeah, Doctor Evil's gonna get shot in the back. Bye bye, Doctor Evil. Thank you. It's game over there, buddy. Uh, yeah, 50 seconds left. Doesn't look like it's. Yeah, it's it's all over Red Rover. Overtime at capping. Cattle. Yeah, that's that's the end of it. It was a, uh, a pretty good battle, I must admit. This is the first one. This this is the penultimate match. You know, these guys have been talking about this for ages. These guys have been g'd up about it. Uh, there's been tactics and counter tactics. There's been, uh, you know, map practices. I've seen the uh, H uh, the Chimera guys practicing routinely. Um, I tell you what, I I do really like, and that is that the Chimera guys will not stop until it's over. They will go to the line, they will run in, they will continue to fight. You can see they've all spawned at the back there and they're all still running forward to engage. They're not doing anything stupid or shitty and, and kudos to them for that. Uh, all the boys there running in in the Delta column. With that, that, is, that, is, game that is time. That is time. And they gave it their all. It was good. OC really dominated that, um, that main battleground area early on. Uh, there's not much that HE uh, Comero guys could do. I'm gonna keep doing that, aren't I? I'm gonna keep fucking that up. <laughs> there's not much that the Comero guys could do to pull them out. They did really give it a red hot go. Uh, so well, well done to them for trying and fighting to the end. Uh, what we're gonna do now, I think, lads, is we're gonna have a bit of a break for 10 minutes, uh, reset our drinks and all that, and the next battle will start. At uh, 15 minutes time, I believe, which is uh, 20 cool. hundred hours on the east coast of Australia, Sydney, Melbourne time. I look forward to our punters all joining us uh, for that. Thanks for watching the first stream. See you soon.